Hello and welcome back to Casting and Earth, Counter-Strike for Friends and the Friends. Frodo T. Bag in Swamp, anyone, Smurf and Big Papa are starting on CT side, the defensive side here on Inferno. It's a 64 tick matchmaking game. These teams are all unknown to us. And again, watching back those games that we win, those games we lose, and we are getting a CT timeout straight away. Remember, this is matchmaking. But I insist that if anyone wants to seriously get better at you know, Counter-Strike, then they definitely need to be watching their own games. You do it in sports. If you're playing sports, you go back and watch your own performances, wins and losses. Watching the losses are really, really important. Same if you're doing music. If you watch back and see your gigs, how you're playing, how you're performing. And it's the same principle here. We're not saying we want to go pro. We just want to be a bit better than turd, turd, turd ranked, while still being able to just play quite casually. So, there's no better opportunity than watching yourself back, seeing some crispy, crispy shots you hit, seeing the terrible whiffs that you hit as well, and we will be reliving the pain of this evening in a matchmaking game of Inferno. Now, often we're going to do anyone in Smurf who are going to be B players, but in fact, I think we're going to be changing it up because Swamp and Frodo T. Baggins will be fancying their chances of playing B. So the standard setup, if you are a CT, if you're new to this map, you haven't seen me casting this or play this before, normally you're going to be seeing two defenders on towards B. If they're playing more passive, they're going to be back here and here watching this crossfire in towards this kill box here, or they're going to be ideally coming down here to challenge Banana, which is this crooked shaped area just like this, and challenging Banana is going to be a huge, huge part of this map. The other three defenders will be defending A and really drawing a line in the sand here, so basically the defenders, the attackers, are only stuck in towards mid. Now in comes huge grenades. It's going to be Smurf taking huge damage right at the start of this round. Smoking towards um, Boiler. I don't think I've ever seen a strat like this. He's going to pull out another CT Molotov. Smurf just being able to stand here and be super, super aggressive. He's managed to find one kill. The bomb is still being spotted, and indeed, that's going to be the defensive setup I was talking about here from Frodo and Swamp. But the bomb is intending to push its way up towards A for now. Danius coming in with a sport card to be covered. Caught out towards the open. That's one CT removed from the equation. Now this bomber can actually start really, really moving in. It's going to be anyone left to hold up in towards the long position. Karx up close. Able to just mow down anyone with the power of that Tech 9. That machine pistol really can move down. But oh no. Smells here to deny the bomb planter. That's absolutely huge as he gets the double tap in. Nobody checked apartments. And now it's Soul left on his own. And a crispy, crispy quad kill here from Smurf to open up Inferno. Nice stuff there. Bear in mind, Smurf was just allowed to get away with far too much that round. He kind of just bumbles around on towards the short corner, on towards Boiler, and he just stands here and just taps away. He gets one kill. The fact he's still able to walk back up and then into out, he just sits in here whilst the T's plant the bomb. Or fail to plant the bomb, because nobody planted the bomb because he didn't let that happen. It's going to be a deep smoke in, thrown here by anyone. Now, this smoke allows Smurf to push in towards second mid just like this, so this is something that anyone in Smurf will be doing. They'll be playing a bit of a wombo combo in towards mid. Look at this aggression that allows them from that deep smoke. It's going to be Smurf and Frodo who are going to be the ones under challenge. In they come. Fast play. Frodo, good option to retreat there, but they are going to chase him down. In comes the flashbang. They are bothered about that flashbang. He's going to hold it through the flashbang. Womp's able to find one. Womp's still trying to do as much as he can before that smoke blooms. He's just going to be able to sneak away. One more fade kill. Frodo was unable to find anything there, but anyone through the smoke is going to find Lanius. This smoke. Bomb's not able to go down again. There's no money in the back here for the B side as Papa mops things up from behind. The rotate came in uber fast, lightning fast. Like literally just at the time that smoke had bloomed, anyone was already up here on towards the, the long corner and towards um, CT spawn and had already got a kill in through that smoke. And like I said, before they could even plant, Swamp had already rotated off CT. Fast fluid defending we're seeing so far. Now comes in the buy round from T side. They haven't got much because they haven't punched the bomb. Fast utility, standard utility again. Round number three, T side are just hanging back, waiting out the CT. More of a default, look at this. They are really fanned out across this map. It's going to be Papa throwing in defensive smoke. It's going to be the secondary smoke to keep things back. Soul though, I don't think Smurf reads the soul is right here. It's towards Boiler, huge play, but Papa's able to get the trade up for the flower pot boost. Lanius is here as well. Oh no, I don't think Lanius has read it. Papa's gonna be caught with a Molotov. Oh my goodness, he literally couldn't bring out his weapon fast enough. Caught sheathing his sword. Anyone on towards that corner though will be taken out by Lanius. A site is under control as the bomb go down. Frodo though, nice in here. This is gonna be his first kill of the game. Who 
zooms in to retake this. An AK on the floor as well. Fomp doesn't have an M4A1S. I don't think they read this player behind him. I don't think they realise that Como is behind them with the UMP. Oh no, Fomp's just hot. Fomp's not heard those steps. I think he turned around far too late. An infant banana behind them. Now with Archer smoked off as well. This just leaves no options for Frodo. Frodo left, looking in through Archers. In through Library. He's going to read a book. He's going to be shot by the Librarian. On his flank. Two to one. The first rifle round in here for T-Side is successful. There's not great money in here for CT-Side, but they might be looking to buy up what they can. It's a one last bonus. They're not buying up quickly. They're certainly deciding what they're doing. They are going to be saving. It's a one last bonus, and they do have about two and a half grand. This is okay to save here. It's going to be grenades and pistols. Smurf looking to get some body armor and an upgraded pistol. Big Tubbs utility. Class utility. Ooh, the P90, which would have been the perfect weapon for this, but Big Tubbs actually able to find a double with this USB. He tries to swing out for an aggressive swing. It's just going to be caught in the spray. Anyone with Swamp looking to swing back round. Oh, good kill there from Soul in towards Smurf. Just a literal pre fire and check as well. It's anyone on towards a site. High up on towards the boxes. They move in towards short. Anyone is going to be in towards apps this time. Smoke goes down on towards a planter this time. Anyone I don't think will be able to find this kill. Soul is going to find one. And it's going to be a clean kill on towards anyone as well. Quad kill and 2-2. Two, two. Anyone hoping to recreate Smurf's play from apps there, but as soon as the smoke goes down on site as well, that just makes it so much more difficult. And the fact there's a rifler down towards the pit. Not today. Let's go, let's go. That was the eco round. Some wonder stuff happening from Papa, but it's actually going to be four rifles coming out and a shotgun. Here comes this deep smoke again, being deployed by anyone. The NT wants to try and get ahead of it. Smurf's going to be hit by a flying piece of shrapnel. Nice little spray in through the sand smoke. That's going to be trying to challenge anyone that's in the center. Lanius taking banana control in here from Frodo. Frodo's just caught out on towards coffins. They've lost banana control. Four T's in towards banana now. B site is going to be the intention. Smoke in towards CT as soon as this defensive smoke dissipates. In they come. Another smoke on towards coffins on the fly. This is going to be an execute in towards his B bomb site. The flash comes in but it actually blinds the T's. Bomb on towards fountain is going to be removed from Lanius. Papa is able to find a kill, but over towards A, but that is not where the sting of this attack is coming in. Frodo in towards CT. Lanius really making moves. Lanius really finding kills as he's kill leader for this server so far. Three versus four retake. I just don't think this is possible. Smurf wants to come and move in. He's just literally slapped in the side of the cheek there, and it's going to have to be a save. Four versus two. And 3-2 to two is going to be the score as Papa and anyone look to save their M4s. Lanius clearing a path to try and exit out of B Banana. He's only got three points of health, so he, oh, he's coming back to the bomb. I was going to say he's got to leave. He needs to get on his moped. Homo wondering where on earth he's being shot from, but anyone is underneath the balcony. Another one as well. That's two AKs. That's two more AKs they're going to have to buy. And don't worry, Sol has 7,000, Lanius 5,000, TNT 6,000, but still that's 2,000. Look at the money they've still had to expend in towards this round. Stealing away any rifle is pretty handy. Come on, come on, chop, chop. Round number six. Can't slow out of spawn. This is matchmaking after all. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey, and the round is underway with deep smoke again, and a flash in towards second mid. Again, this deep smoke allows them to look up and get some. Yeah, Cox just has no idea that anyone could down be in towards second mid. Lanius very much aware that they've lost second mid control. Ooh, anyone. So it's towards CT. There's still presence being posted up in towards this B site. Anyone creeping around? Oh, and Lanny is just caught wandering as well. That confirms that all of second mid is clear. That deep mid smoke has really given them all the information that they wanted. Now there are three T's stuck in towards Banana, knowing that their rear is exposed. 
Superb sprays to try and find the kill on towards the NT. Soul is here. He might be trying to get the trade, but anyone's on the other side. And they're in a pincer attack, and it's going to be Como. He sees Thwomp here. Bell is actually here, able to use the trade. And there it is. It's 3 to 3. That was all off the back of that deep mid smoke. That deep mid smoke is what anyone throws here. You just stand here and you basically just bounce it off the edge of the wall here and it smokes off all of this, which just gives you the opportunity to peek down in towards second mid like this. And it let them just move up to these stairs. Let them get the kill here. They moved round in towards apps as well. They killed another T who just come wandering out of the underpasses. Like this. That deep smoke just gives you so many more options in this T side. You just can't see anything. You can't see the CTs coming to do this deep aggressive push. Slow out of spawn again. This time it's TNT. Nice through the wall there. It's going to be Frodo. Deep stuff again. Pre fires straight through this smoke screen. A bit of damage there from Como. His glass cannon though. Fire in the hole. Ooh, anyone though. He messes up the boost. He tries to get a boost and finally it's going to be Big Papa trying to get the trade, but Smurf and anyone hugely messing up the boost. It's going to be down for Big Papa to try and do some heavy lifting. He smokes off towards mid. It's going to be Frodo back into provide another kill. Down to a two versus two. This bomb is actually moving up towards top mid, possibly A. That was a huge error from anyone. And Smurf. Oh, I'm not sure if Papa reads this. Cox is in on his flank. Cox is in behind him. He doesn't want to be cheeky and go for the knife. It's going to be Frodo left in a two versus one. They're going to be able to plant this bomb on A side. Frodo, slow to move. I think he's just mindful because the kill just came in. Through library. It could be coming around, but this might actually be a save. They've got so much firepower, so many weapons here to pick up off the floor. And that hinged ultimately off the back of this boost that went wrong here. On towards the flower pot, that was Smurf and anyone, and anyone actually whiffed the jump and ended up falling. He tried to do the jump from flower pot up to quad roof, and he ends up whiffing that because of the noise through his fat feet falling on the floor. The CT can just swing out with a Mac 10 and drop them both. One error cost two players 40% of the CT manpower. Good choice not to repeat as well. Photo, so he hangs on to that AWP. The money is poor. They might want to buy up around this AWP. Indeed, out come the rifles, what they can. Summon up from the abyss. T side playing fast and still some sleeping in spawn. It's going to be Deep Molotov in Papa here. No deep smoke this time. It's anyone and Smurf looking to go fast. They want to play off each other here. They just want to play together. TNT. We'll find one, but it's going to be an auto shotgun on Smurf. Nice interesting flash out here by Frodo. Nice kill as well as they slowly move in towards this B side. Frodo's going to start to lock this down. They're starting to stall here. There are three T's just stalled in towards B. If only he pulls the trigger. My goodness, he does. Kark's removed through the smoke on a timing fire. Pre fire through the smoke. Now these two T's have just stalled. The wind has gone out of their sails. Frodo, though, will be traded up. Will be traded up again. He finds Frodo, but Fomp is there to trade up on towards Seoul. Homo finds one on towards Big Papa. He still knows that Thwomp is here. He knows that Thwomp just got that kill. Smurf though is working in through CT. That's going to allow them to watch this bomb with a crossfire. Como still mindful that one could come in from behind, but that is not where Smurf is. He still knows that Thwomp is here on his left, but he has no idea where Smurf is. Such a dire situation. 36 seconds left. Oh, no, it's a whiff jump. Thwomp knows exactly where he is now. He is right here on his right. Como. He could go back to A if he runs down Banana. The only issue is Thomp is going to hear it. There's only 22 seconds left. He's going to start running down Banana. Boss running down Banana. They haven't actually heard this, but no, indeed they have. Smurf is now going to rotate over. Smurf. Thomp actually saying in case this is a fake, but Como running in. Eight seconds left. Plenty of time to plant the bomb. But Smurf is just here, right next to him. And it's going to be the kill. The defuse comes in. 4-4 four, four is we equalise. Quite even kills here, disputed around this team. Nice stuff. Frodo, real impact there as he locks down B site. Win. 
Now it's Teesside in the slums, feeling that Great Depression, feeling that economy really slipping away. They can bring out a couple of AKs and a decent amount of utility, but it's going to be P90s behind it. Now P90s might actually be a bit of a problem here. That ability to move and shoot and just be really quick and aggressive works. Huge utility presence here for Banana. It's going to be from cowering in the corner. Will he be checked? He manages to find one, but he's instantly traded up by carts. Smoke on towards CT. That also means there's an M4 up for grabs. Frodo in the same position finds one. He finds two. Will he find the third? Oh, I just really thought he did. He literally couldn't press the trigger fast enough. Smurf is going to be here though to drop the bomb carry. Don't worry because the reinforcements, the three defenders on A side are already here, lightning fast. Frodo from back site being a menace. He played this round, he played on this pillar this time. He, did. he was actually playing back here the round before, even though I said the same position. In vicinity, in towards dark. Nice control again, this considered back site. Great position to you know, really get across here. It's really hard, unless you know Molotov lineups, to get Molotovs in here. But you know, for MG2 level, you're not going to be seeing many Molotovs and stuff that will be landing on those switches. There's going to be the lineup for that deep smoke. He goes the grenades, it's going to do huge damage to Linus. Anyone just here to support in case anyone swings out of boiler. There's only pistols here for T-side. They are actually economizing this time. They are still in the Great Recession. Molotov in towards boiler. It's just going to allow Smoke to just carry on here. He is going to find Tomo. No CTs have died. It's a bit of an issue here as the CTs can just hunker down. They're just turtling out. Just waiting. Ooh, another nasty peek. The door is firmly shut here. Oh, I don't think Smurf has any idea there's a player behind him, and that's there. He actually swings out and gets a huge kill, and he's able to get the bomb carry as well. Still, I don't think he realizes that the TNT is right next to him. Carts. Oh. Tries to empty his clip, but anyone somehow manages to try and get that kill. This TNT left solo. But the rest of the team converges on this bomb. TNT here, and anyone swings out the window, it's going to be 6 to 4. Two round cushion. Small lead. Did end up losing a player there in amongst the chaos of pistols. And the buy round comes out for T side. They're going to have to convert another round with these AKs. The cops opting for that P90. Nice time. Double flame carpet here for Swamp. Frodo. They want to be aggressive. Smith wants to be aggressive towards Apps as well. There are players over here. With Molotov thrown in. He's ahead of the Molotov. He is going to burn some away. I think he hears the ticking of that Molotov. Throwing a grenade. He has called some presence here in towards the apartments. He has got a rough decision by Lanius. He's going to be able to find not just one, but he's now putting pressure on towards Swamp as well. Frodo removed from Coffin. No, oh, I literally thought Smurf there's no way he was going to win that duel. Smurf somehow comes out on top. Another defender here to support him, TNT. Now they're trying to find Smurf. They know he's low in towards his apartment. There's two T's probing A and two T's probing B. It's a nightmare right now. There's there are two defenders trying to defend A and two defenders trying to defend B, but now the bomb just goes down. In comes the grenade. It's a nice grenade, but Lannis has been able to find anyone. Smurf is still here, locked in towards quad, and there he's taken out. There's the two defenders that would have been retaking in. It's two versus one on this site, but Sol's trying to run in as fast as he can. Good flash. That's so, so whitening. Papa though, able to get the kill. Pop just wants to get onto it. Pop just literally wants to get onto it, but Papa's not there to protect him. Tries to get the double spray down. The trade comes in from TNT. I think Papa was actually looking to protect from CT. Obviously, because the kills just came in on Smurf on A. So, you know, you'd think the most logical route those teams would take would definitely be through CT, right? And so, I think Papa was banking as Pop was defusing the bomb. Papa was banking those two T's would have likely been coming in for CT, but instead they opt to go all go, 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 the way go, go. through here instead. Rough situations. It's down to grenades and pistols now for the friends on CT side. We might be looking at a 6 6 equalizer here. Grenades come down. It's going to be anyone just burned alive, and it's going to be Papa with a Galil barrel shoved up his nostril. Lanius just drops from the feet of Smurf, spotted as well, and Frodo. 
like a hot knife carved through butter, the CT side disintegrate. Rifles out again. We're almost done with this first half. Two rounds left. No team can win out the half. It's an odd number of rounds. It's 15. One team will either win at 8-7 or higher than 8. Both of these teams are looking to try and win out the half. Can only be one. Fast utility again. It's going to be anyone just trying to contest. He's going to be able to get the instant trade there on towards Lanius, who gets hungry. Utility thrown in again. Whoa, anyone just caught just trying to retreat back around the corner. Bomb showing presence up towards mid. Como is slow here. Again, he started defaulting. They're showing a bit of presence here on towards B. This is the fake CT smoke, and they're also showing presence on towards A. Oh, this might be nice. No one's actually on long. Flash check here by Papa. Cox actually comes just a bit after. <gasps> Will Papa find this? No, oh, it's going to cost him a little bit of life, but Cox is going to be able to come out on top. It's Papa now left solo, isolated on towards the side. He knows that one's above him. He knows that Sol is here. He knows that another one is in towards. One more in towards the apartments. He's actually been able to find a kill here as they now come to retake. It's now the B defenders being asked to retake to say bombsite two versus two. Literally a game of wingman. Don't know if you've ever been to one of those retake servers. It looks something like this. Cox watching Frodo Baggins. Perfect placement. Literally perfect cross air placement halfway down that door. And now it's going to be Thwomp. TNT is tucked in towards headshot. He knows Cox is on towards short. But I don't think TNT is going to reveal himself for any reason at all. We've got the X-ray, we can see it from... Was he, was he going to be able to find the other? There's no way. I don't believe it. He's looking in the 40 apartments, but no, he has no idea that TNT was tucked in there. Literally perfect cover on towards that graveyard step position. Unless you've got the Molotov, you know, if you're coming in from short, unless you've got the Molotov that you can bounce off there to burn this position, that's always going to be so difficult. Fob didn't have a smoke, he didn't have anything to aid his situation. Now it's one way to get to poor town again is it's pistols again. You don't want to see a 9-6 defeat at the end of the first half. That's just going to be heartbreaking. Deep grenade. Frodo, nice to get out there. Just need about a third of his health. That's does Swamp. Spurt. That's for a deep look. He throws so many grenades deep down mid. Bouncing them off walls. He didn't have a look. That's going to cost him his life, his eagle and his armour. in on the fly. Three CTs here, five T's looking to take it. That's going to be Coffin smoke, CT smoke. Presence and pressure comes in. Five seven rattles off through the smoke behind. They try and spray back at it. They know that one is here. It's called that just by a bit of distraction here, but Thwomp and Frodo back in stack is only able to convert one. Anyone just off the top is able to stop the bomb plant for now. Oh, I don't think it reads Lanius is here as well. Lanius just wrapped in too quick. It's going to be picked up a solo. It's only pistols after all. Takes it down. And it will be T side who confirm winning out this half. CT can only win one more, and that's going to make it 7 8, but they can't win out the half. Essentially, as, the, as CT was smoked here, there's there's a double stack of CTs in this corner, and all anyone would do is rattling off rattling off bullets, essentially, to try and get all the Ts looking that way. And indeed, a few Ts did look that way, but the stack just couldn't, couldn't activate to get any more than one kill. Deep smoke. Papa again, risky. Don't need to look out to throw the smoke. Oh, great headshot placement again there for Lanius. Just tell, he's just a bit better. Anyone's actually just with that opportunity to trade up. Do what he can, try and buy for control, trying to retain control of apps and short. It's going to be T's again putting presence, but it's going to be fake presence here up towards B because actually the bomb is top mid. That has actually just been able to find Lanius. They can actually retreat back down mid. They are going to go towards B. Frodo is here. Spot one, TNT taken out. There's still Como in the corner. Soul is here with the second one. Nice one. Another one taken down there. Can Frodo find the third? It's a miss. Kark still making noise here on towards the A side. He knows there's going to be CTs rotating round. Anyone's watching this. Anyone is able to find that. He knows that one would be lurking around. The bomb is now solo in towards well. Last round of this first half. There were four CTs to contend with. Sol finds one, but he's going to be traded up by Thwomp. And it's going to be seven to eight. 
Frodo again, as soon as Frodo digs in and does find kills on towards B, they basically can win it. You know, whether they lose the site or not, Frodo just seems to be able to put the brakes on a T side advance. You can't come here, essentially, is what Frodo's saying. It's now going to be the T side on reverse. We'll be interested to see how the friends fan out on their let's side. Go, let's go. All armor. They intend to just go kapow, all play aggressively. That's what would be left to go and retrieve this bomb. Anyone up close. They want to challenge in through mid. They want to push in towards A. Linus. Oh, instant thing. Absolutely dropped. It's going to be anyone to lead this charge. It's going to be, oh my goodness, Kark's just absolutely flattened by anyone who leads the charge. Leads the charge, and it's going to be Como trying to find one, but Smurf's going to be able to counter trade. It's going to be two to four already. Bomb goes down on towards this A side. Papa pushing up deep towards Arch. He's only got 10 points of health. He does manage to get that kill anyway. Health doesn't matter. Three versus one. Soul left to retake in from long. Ooh, Smurf is looking at the wall. He's chasing a chicken. Chicken gives him plus 10 power and accuracy. Manages to get a dink in. So, just to find the kill, but these T's aren't anywhere to be found. Soul is on site. Swamp is just waiting for the audio cue. He's waiting for those magic buttons to be pressed. This is not enough time. Ten second time is already gone. There's no kit on towards Soul. He taps it. He tries to get these T's to die with him. Clearly just managed to get one. And everybody's dead. It's eight to eight. Nice there they play. They did play one up banana. They just, you know, didn't want to make sure the CTs could just come looking for free down banana. Confirm that Alice Klar, German, all is clear. They had one there, but essentially the other four just pushed in. I'm sure anyone just finding the kill on towards long and then just plowing. Virtus plow through towards the A site. Now it's going to be CTs looking to throw a load of grenades. Five men towards banana. Oh, these grenades might hurt. This might really hurt. This might be a huge problem. Fox actually managed to find a double kill. Frodo's actually here as well. This could be huge problems. Frodo finds a double as well. And it's very, very quickly dealt with. Bob's actually still going to be moving in towards A. Soul is here. Oh, 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 oh. oh my goodness! A Galil stolen away by Soul. Papa coming to play aggressive towards Boiler. He wants to come and play a close angle anyway with that UMP. It's going to be really hard for him to hold long angles, so this is actually a perfect position for Papa to go and play, and he can literally just watch here. Basically, all of short. They can't come in through short. Playing double in towards mini pit, because no one ever expects double mini pit. If Smurf swings out and gets one tapped, there's no way CT's reading double here, but Papa's actually going to be the one to find his lucky star. Oh, nice timing on it as well. Just comes out of nowhere. 9 to 8, and even though they lost that first half, they are now the ones in the lead. But remember, CT side only have pistols these last two rounds. They're throwing a load of grenades down Banana, and now it's going to be their opportunity to bring in some rifles, and we're going to see how the friends on T side fare. Great Banana take there from Frodo and Pop. They just end up collapsing to a P250 at the end of it. Soul, grenade. Whoa, that's going to cost Swamp. Smurf wants to be aggressive here. Whoa, great push there. Straight ahead of Smurf. Look at this one way. Oh my goodness. Papa. Oh wow, that's a horrible, horrible one way. Lannis is actually going to be able to find Smurf as well. It all goes wrong quite quickly. Smoking towards CT. He asked for the smoking towards Coffins as well. They are going to be going for that smoke towards Coffins. The other two CTs actually don't want to rotate. I think they might be thinking this is a fake, but actually, they are coming in. Anyone's able to find one kill. Soul, able to find one. But anyone will be looking to plant this bomb. Now, the other CTs believe this is real. They believe this is the real thing. Anyone does manage to get a bomb plant off. In a 2 versus 4 the fact that anyone would to get a bomb plant. In a 2v4, that's pretty good. I'd be happy with that. That's money for the team. Some real naughtiness happened now. I mean, Swamp gets deleted by the grenade and peek off the back of it. Papa meets the most horrendous one way I've ever seen in towards apartments. I mean, I'm not sure how they're going to deal with that unless they just start pre firing through the wall or something. It's going to have to be. 
full buy in from T side. Nasty, nasty stuff that we saw that round. It's not those, and it just goes to show the utility again. Can give you some really jammy things. How one. One way spent like, oh no, this will be fine. Through the wood, that's absolutely huge. Rob is in huge trouble. Frodo does manage to find one. Anyone now trying to play the SWB? He does manage to hit TNT through the wood for 98, 88, apologies. Here comes the scope. It's a little bit off. The Bob's actually probing towards a nice check there from Papa across on towards the top of second mid. CT counter smoke gets thrown in. Oh, Frodo, so lucky to avoid that. It's going to be a smoke in towards CT. That's going to be a smoke on towards Moto. There is now Clax here. What a nice flash peek there from Big Papa. That's so crispy clean. And now all four C's move in towards this unoccupied A bomb site. It's completely empty. 9 to 10 looking likely on the board. Despite them losing that first man from to that B fire through the wood, then that, that Moto smoke that anyone throwed in from mid that's now proving really useful. It will start dissipating now, though, that Lanius wants to come in for a look. Frodo might be able to mop in this one here. Oh, anyone finds Lanius towards Library. TNT, caught looking the other way. Nice cross-air placement. That's 10 to 9. Beautiful stuff there. Frodo, a big 15. Lots of kills all over. Three, three T's on 15 kills. It's looking good. Again, this is dirge rank. This is terrible, terrible matchmaking rank. This is absolute casual central. And we're only watching these back to relive the pain, to just see that one play could have been the difference to winning or drawing or losing. This time, Bob sitting in the back. He doesn't want to be caught by any silliness. Silly focus is over. He's still going to eat the main, even though he goes so late into the round. Oh, this is actually the one way that we're seeing. Oh, Smurf. Oh, it's still flop first down. I think he's been first down three rounds in a row. World's most unlucky guy. Smoking towards CT, Smurf wants to go aggressive and he finds the other one just as that smoke blooms and now the B site is open for business. Anyone wants to plan really, really safe. They want to leave themselves locked in towards this site. They have got coffin and CT smoked off. There's actually a papper in on the rear behind them here. Ooh, Smurf! I think they've just realised that there are CTs in towards here, but I'm just going to be shot down towards mid, but. I was actually moving in behind. Lanius was able to find that with the Mag 7. Ooh, Smurf checked in towards the corner. This ropey retake's not actually looking too good anymore. It's now a 2 versus 2. There's still quite a bit of time left to come in and win this retake. Anyone's just not hitting anything. Anyone completely letting the side down as Frodo being asked to do all the heavy lifting as he goes through the two man clutch and it's 11 to 9. Frodo saying, I will look after this weapon for you cannot aim well with it. I think anyone with three shots there from Dark in the back just could kill Lanius at all. Frodo now will be entrusted with playing that AWP. Do you side anyone's like, I don't want to do that. is not my bag. Not today. Reinforced Banana. Oh, it's a nice wall bang as well. Frodo already going to work with it, but he's going to lose so much to grenades. Smurf on top of the Logs is going to lose that one. It's again through the half wall that Frodo is going to be able to start doing damage. Big Papa, great timing here. Carax is actually here on top as well. He tries to find it, but it's going to be a trade. Three to three. The swamp slowly moves back. Feed this bomb. Anyone wants to go towards A. And he's made the right call here. Anyone will be IGL. We'll be going in. He's actually found the empty bomb site. Really, really good precision as he now flood into towards his A bomb site. Lanius wants to come down as fast as he can. Frodo misses that shot. Now both CTs are looking to retake him. Fomp needs to find a good position to play. Ooh, this is risky coming to meet the opponents here. If he goes to meet this, this could be really, really overstepping his mark. And it could be really greedy. TNT is just on this other side. Oh, nice stuff there from Swamp. He's actually really patient. Just lets TNT come to him. Nanius, he knows that anyone's here underneath. Swamp's coming in from apps. Taken out. Using the bomb. Oh, no. Nanius. Oh, no. I don't know why Swamp left short. Swamp was already in a great position. So, so because Lanius basically just walked up to anyone, just killed him. If if Rob was still short, he, the, Lanius couldn't have just walked up there and got that kill. Rob, anyone could have literally just crouched the whole time. 
waiting for the sound, and Flop could have just played this corner and just waited for the sound, and they could both swing as soon as they heard the sound. You know, Lanius can't physically fight those two angles. But Flop actually goes the long way round and is completely untradeable for anyone whilst he's wandering around towards the apartments. And that poor decision making, real error in the ways there. We didn't learn as it goes to round number 22, and that error cost them the round, and it's now 10 to 11. Boost up here from Sol. Frodo, I don't think he's ready for this. Indeed, he's not, and there's going to be Brock taken out again. My guy's gone silent. They haven't discovered the bomb yet back here, but they are being really, really aggressive. Smurf being called back now to try and deal with this, but it's going to be Nanias to drop him. And it's the trade. Caught out, tries to push on down with the pop flash, and it's now just anyone solo. Four versus one, and Lanius. A name I'm saying over and over again. It's actually only 23 kills. It's Sol, who's 27 and 18. 11 to 11, round 23. We stay neck and neck. I still don't really know which team's going to be coming out on top. This round, though, it's certainly favouring the secret side. Pistols and an eco come forward for T-side. Back on the next rifle round, we're really going to need Thwomp to start making presence again. They are going to push straight through this, they want to come hard fast. Smurf manages to find one, and these tech nines just obliterate the defense. That's huge. That really, really gives them an opportunity to really get into this, but there is still one towards apps. Anyone's been spotted. And Molotov is going to push them off. The Karaks knows. But there is one here. He's going to try and get the grenade as well. Sol manages to get a kill as well. Three versus three. They need to survive this team thing. <laughs> Frodo back in. This is huge. Anyone's up to you to get Karks. Karks wasn't able to achieve. Oh, and Frodo with a huge moneymaker. Frodo's rich. He went and sold his one ring. And he's now got 7,000. The best part of. The mistake that 2v1 clutch that went wrong the round before that has been forgiven because they somehow managed to turn around a full eco running in with a few pistols. They just ran straight through that smoke and really worked for them. Five now CTs and it's their turn to play the pistol round. And it's going to be Thwomp. And just to find one, Frodo's able to find one as well but he's just going to be overran. You can only shoot so many times in succession with that AWP before men with pistols are just going to overwhelm you. The other three, just looking to go fast. Smurf smoking top mid now. Now he'll be doing all he can to delay this. He may spray through this, making huge kills. He can hear the steps. He can hear it. Oh my goodness, yeah, that's going to be TNT removed. This is really, really good here from Smurf. The more forward he plays like this, the more difficult it's going to be. And look at this, yeah, the CTs can't really even come for this. Soul. Oh, it's going to be a missed shot. Tomo. Yeah, taken out. There's just no opportunity here. Sol wants to try and have a look, but there's just no opportunity. Whoa, clean shot there. Molotov on the bomb. Anyone in Papa just want to get out of there. No chance to save that AWP. It's going to be 13 to 11. Nice. To Anyone could have run off there. Anyone at Papa were basically just on this long corner and they could have easily just slipped off. But anyone just says, no, we know he's here. He's going to have to exit this way. And so anyone just makes a small decision. Just be like, no, I am going to come and kill you here. You're not going to save that AWP for free. Good decision because now CT side don't have an AWP to play on round 25. Two round lead here for the friends on T side. They need to just not set a foot wrong. He's back. He's been now being stayed all over the place. It's going to be past Molotov up with the water bow, Smoked out. Default here from T side and CT side are fully Turn spread out as well. 3A, 2B, just like we said at the start of the round. It's going to be Frodo who's going to find that first epic kill. He is finding effect. Oh, and it's going to be Thwomp again. He's going really, really quiet. Smurf's been able to find Karks. Smurf goes to clear out the corner. And it's going to be Frodo to sweep up the bomb as we now move towards the same side. All the CTs, though, are converging. Oh, Papa winning that fight on towards Komo. That could be huge. There is CT moving in towards there. It's going to be Lanius. And it's going to be Big Papa to find that huge double kill. That was all hinged on Papa. Literally, if Papa didn't get that kill on towards... Because Lanius was here. 
Lanis was on long, and there was a CT on towards the balcony, and there were there were T's moving in through short. If Papa didn't get this kill, there's no way that anyone would have survived that crossfire between here and here. This would have just been a kill box. Papa getting this kill means that this is not a kill box, and anyone can move on site, and actually Papa then just jumps a pick and gets a trade kill. If Papa hadn't won that, that two kills there, that could have all gone wrong, and now it's going to be T side. 14 to 11, they are really nice in the lead, but all oh, smurf. I don't think he has any idea. This soul is here, and it's going to be one mouse press. Oh no, as well. Big Papa dropped by Como being super aggressive. This app's aggression is being kicked off the Frodo. He's just been gifted TMT, who's just going to jump into his vision. Anyone's going to be able to find Como with a trade. Three versus three right now, and they've got AKs and utility. Oh, I don't think Swap knows. There's a CT here on his right. Oh no, Sol is just in T apps right now. They, they want to decide where they're going with this bomb. Lanius is here up close. It's going to be a Molotov on towards the abs. Oh no! Top, he can't lose that bomb there, but Sol! That's the bomb lost! Thwomp was caught out in the middle there. I think he, he could have just dipped into... Thwomp was hanging around by the door here. Oh no, it's Sol taking out anyone. Thwomp was literally by the door and could have just dipped underneath the underpass to just join Frodo and anyone who were, who were already making their way up Molly towards up top, top banana and stuff like this and really deciding that there was only one defender up here. They could have just pushed up and taken that site. And, an error again. And these errors might cost the game, it might cost the opportunity of victory. The pistol's out now, T side. They want to go fast, fast in all day. The smoke gets thrown in on towards right, and that is going to completely focus Smurf's aim. Hark's here with the auto shotgun up top. There's going to be anyone to just insta trade here after Smurf gets felled by the shotgun, and now the bomb can go down. This is absolutely huge. Soul wants to be in fast. That's one down. Frodo taken down. That's going to be one found as well. Anyone still making things happen? He is going to be traded up by Lanius. There's still Big Papa left solo on towards his bomb site. He got a two double kill last time. He's going to have to try and do it again. He's going to be able to find Lanius. Put shot in towards the back. It's going to be. Oh my goodness. TNT is here. The Molotov can be thrown on towards the bomb this time, but I think just too much time is elapsed. The Molotov actually bounces back off the box. The round is lost. They got the plan. I think. I suppose they can take that. You know, I don't think this realistically they were expecting Tech Nines to punch through and get them round number 15. The fact they got the bomb pump is huge. It means that Frodo can bring out this AWP again. It means they can bring out a load of complementary utility. But it's 14 to 13. It's close. We're talking literally three rounds left in this game. Anyone fast flash towards the top mid? Oh the up the down. That's going to be utility passes up here. Sold. Oh, it's going to be Soul finding Smurf. Soul, who's just finding so much effect. This is on 36 kills right now. Oh, that one way, though, has been punished. You remember I said earlier, how do you cancel that one way? How do you deal with that one way towards apps and anyone just dealing with that one way right there? Karks has just been escorted out of the apartment. The bomb and 40s moving up in towards the same bomb site. There are three defenders here to greet them. They need to be so, so careful. Happened before, who made huge plays out of the balcony. Frodo spotted one, it's going to be anyone taken out, it's trade up there by Frodo, that's really, really important, it's now down to a three versus three. Come on, Denise is not going to be able to, Papa going to make it happen this time. Thwomp moves in towards short, Thwomp, who's been a little bit quiet these few rounds, he needs to make something happen, he needs to come to life and force a double kill out of this situation. He needs to get one at least, or a double at least. It's an SMG, a rifle and a shotgun up against him, Frodo's been able to find one. Thwomp needs to find something here for the apartments. From short, Lanius is going to be able to take it down. They know that Thwomp is here and towards short. It's going to be taken out by Como. It's 14 to 14. Thwomp who went static on towards short. He's having a rough game. We all have them. We all have them. I know his pain right now and he's going so quiet. These last few deciding yeah, rounds, it's either been decision making that led to a, a mistake or just unable to bring out a kill when it's most needed most. And it's so difficult now, it's going to have to be the force. The push right up towards B. Fast push. So fast in here. Ooh, that's going to be a whiff off for anyone. That could be an error. That's another missed shot in here. Good boy. The SMG is up close. Bit up here with an instant trade. They need to close down this AWP. Sol has been allowed to get another one. Sol has been allowed to get another one. He tries to get yet another, but Frodo is just going to gun him down. That is exactly how you deal with the AWP. They need to try and plant this bomb. Only one team can get match point. 
from Frodo's not covering it. Frodo's not covering the bomb just managed to go down. That's a little bit of money at least. A small saving grace, but it's three versus one. Frodo just wasn't covering that. 15 to 14. They were literally so many rounds up. Yeah, they, that, that's a four round spree. It was 14 to 11. And Teesside, with a huge blunder, give up the opportunity to win this game. And now they can only play for the draw or they risk losing it. That bomb plant has given them enough to bring at least five AKs in towards this round. They have to win this Let's round. Sol, who's on 39 kills. Right. Be photo. Only play fast and good. That's Sol moving in another kill again. Frodo wants to find this kill. Smurf is actually going to be able to find it as well. It's going to be TNT. Hiding towards here. The bomb's actually going to be moving. Towards A. Smoking towards mid. That's going to keep Smurf honest. Smurf wants to come through. He's going to have his back though. That's going to be But Smurf actually gets that kill. That's absolutely huge. Parks now. Happen's going to need to activate in towards the apartment. He's been spotted. He has been spotted. Anyone is here on towards the hay bales as well. Frodo has been able to find yet another one as well. It's now only down to TNT. Frodo got a great kill on there towards Lanius. Anyone able to find Karks? They double pushed in towards hit and Frodo with a nice clean kill to close things out on towards TNT. Did Frodo hit his dirty 30? Indeed he does. It's a nice draw for all those. We had a 40 bomber, two 30 bombers. Kills are plenty for some players in towards this map. A good one to watch back, but heartbreaking because there were so many opportunities to close that out and win that game. A real good fun one to watch back, and I will catch you guys next time.